I'm explaining a film from 2022 titled Violent Night. Spoilers ahead. Enjoy the content. The video opens with the real Santa Claus spending the night before distributing the presents at a bar. He talks with a mall Santa who is happy to do his job, but old Saint Nick has grown bored of the festivities. He quips that he does some steering, but the reindeer do the most of the work. You ain't driving, are you? I steer a little, but the reindeer do most of the work. <laughs> Just before leaving, Santa leaves a present for the bartender's grandson, who is confused as to how he knows about him. She follows him to the rooftop to punish him, thinking he's just another drunk, only to find Santa riding away in his sleigh, towed by his reindeer. He barfs over the edge of the sleigh, landing on her face, just as the bartender is marveling at the concept that Santa Claus is real. Jason Lightstone is in Connecticut to see his estranged wife Linda and their daughter Trudy. While the two parents want to make Trudy's holiday memorable, they are dealing with a difficult situation. Because the Lightstones are exceedingly wealthy, the three travel to Jason's family mansion. His mother, Gertrude is an abrasive CEO of her company, while Jason's sister Alva is desperate for their mother to notice her since she thinks Jason is Gertrude's favorite child. She is joined by her dim-witted actor boyfriend Morgan Steele and her obnoxious teenage son Bert. Santa goes through Christmas with extreme disdain, dropping off stuff like money in stockings and other useless gadgets and gizmos. He eats the cookies and milk left out for him but also helps himself to other people's alcohol. He sits on their massage chair as he arrives at the Lightstone house. Jason and Linda decide to unwrap one gift for Trudy early, a pair of walkie-talkies. They overhear her conversing on it as if to Santa as they leave her room, indicating that her one Christmas desire is for her parents to reconnect. Jason and Linda are both depressed. When one of the mercs, Gingerbread, kills the head of security, a mercenary team dressed as staff begins their plot. The commander, Scrooge, executes the man at the front gate before entering the Lightstone mansion and assembling his troops to keep the family imprisoned. According to Scrooge, Gertrude had hoarded $300 million that was meant to be distributed to the Middle East, and the money is in a vault somewhere in the house. Santa overhears the gunfire and attempts to get out of there, but he is found by a goon called Tinsel. He attempts to beat Santa down, but he rises and fights back. I don't want any trouble, okay? The gunfire from Tinsel's weapon causes the reindeer to get spooked and fly off, leaving Santa stranded. In the ensuing struggle, Santa and Tinsel fall out a window, but while Santa is okay, Tinsel is impaled on an icicle. Santa arrives at the front gate and discovers the operator dead since he lacks the Christmas magic to get him out. Trudy then speaks on the walkie-talkie, while Santa takes up the other one to request help. When she begs him for help, Santa chooses to remain. When Santa arrives to the house, he is met by another merc, Frosty. Frosty attempts to stab Santa, but Santa is able to protect himself with his magical bag of presents, albeit he is unable to magically bring out an effective weapon. Santa grabs the star from the Christmas tree and jams it into Frosty's eye, then plugs it into an outlet so that the star electrocutes Frosty and sets his head on fire. When Scrooge tries to check in with his mercs, Santa answers Frosty's walkie and informs Scrooge that Frosty is dead, and the rest of them will be soon as well. Scrooge sends his guys to search for Santa while also taunting the Lightstones. He has his henchwoman Candy Cane, Mitra Suri, torture Jason by breaking one of his fingers using a nutcracker, and then attempts to use a bigger nutcracker for its more literal purpose. Before they can kill Jason, Trudy steps in to yell at the criminals, claiming Santa is there to save them, until Jason reminds her that there is no Santa and that parents place Christmas gifts beneath trees and believe they are from him. As the goons follow Trudy, she escapes crying and hides in the attic. She calls Santa again via walkie-talkie, and he proves his sincerity by explaining the various items she has asked throughout the years, restoring her faith in the man. When Trudy explains the evil people, Santa searches his naughty list and discovers all of their names, telling her that she has always been on the good list. 
Scrooge continues to mess with the family by having the adults give Gertrude her gifts. Morgan comes up with a business proposal to further his career, which Gertrude obviously does not care about, and Alva presents her with a framed image of the day she was born, which Gertrude also does not care about. They then take Jason's gift, a bottle of whiskey in a note that he does not want Gertrude to see. She reads it but then declares that whatever is on it is only between them. Santa finds Candy Cane and tries to knock her out, only to have a toy Santa activate and show his actual nature. Scrooge is informed, and he sets out with Gingerbread to find Santa, who is hidden in the attic. The villains knock him out and tie him up, demanding to know who he really is. Santa then drops the villains' real names, Scrooge is Jimmy, Gingerbread is Bjorn, Candy Cane is Kyra, and the things they asked for when they were kids. Because his family couldn't afford to celebrate Christmas after his father was laid off, Scrooge tried to steal presents from a neighbor's house, scaring their grandfather and causing him to fall down the stairs and break his neck. Trudy creates a distraction from the attic by spraying styrofoam through the vents to create fake snow, briefly fooling the villains and allowing Santa to use his powers to fire himself up the chimney and leave. Morgan attempts to escape by leaping out the window. This happens just as Gertrude's extraction team arrives to rescue the family. Unfortunately, Morgan learns they're working with Scrooge after the leader, Commander Thorpe, orders his men to execute him. Scrooge talks to Thorpe and warns him about Santa, and Santa then sees more bad guys' names pop up on the naughty list, meaning he has more work to do. While plotting his next action, Santa explains Trudy about his origins. Centuries ago, he was a formidable Viking warrior known as Nicomund the Red, and he destroyed his opponents with his gigantic hammer skullcrusher. Trudy urges him to use his murderous impulses as he tries to reject them. Santa discovers a nearby sledgehammer in the basement and begins smashing the thugs, as well as using a sharp candy cane as a shiv against the crooks, just as the extraction team is preparing to storm the home. In the attic, Trudy builds Home Alone style traps while Gingerbread and Candy Cane pursue her. Gingerbread steps through a broken ladder rung, causing his chin to be impaled on a nail. Candy Cane attempts to get ahead of him by climbing over him, and she manages to see most of Trudy's traps coming, though the girl still hits her with a few bowling balls. One of them rolls out of the attic and hits Gingerbread, causing him to fall ass first onto a bunch of nails. He pulls out a nail, only for one more bowling ball to fall and hit the nail into his skull, killing him. Candy Cane stalks Trudy until Santa comes, at which point she bashes her brains out before saving Trudy. Scrooge and Thorpe descend under the house to find Gertrude's vault empty. They become agitated and approach Gertrude, holding Linda at gunpoint until someone speaks up. Jason is obliged to come forward and explain that he stole the money to move to Linda and Trudy's house for a better life and to separate himself from the rest of his family. That's what he stated in Gertrude's message, hoping she'd see it before realizing what he'd done. Krampus threatens to slay Linda, Alva, or Bert if the villains are summoned. The three argue over who should get shot, leading them to distract Krampus so Alva can throw wine into the fireplace behind him to stun him. The three then bludgeon Krampus until Alva sticks a fire poker in his neck. Santa then brings Trudy back to Linda. Scrooge and Thorpe take Gertrude with them and begin to make an escape. More goons show up, but the other Lightstones fight back. While Santa pursues Scrooge, Jason and Linda engage in a nativity scene combat with the surviving bandits. Trudy observes Jason and Linda kiss passionately after murdering the last several guys. On a snowmobile, Santa follows the criminals, killing the last guys before throwing Thorpe off his machine and following Scrooge. During their horrible battle, Scrooge tries every weapon he possesses to penetrate Santa. He then comes upon the naughty list and finds his name on it, convincing him that this is Santa Claus. Scrooge says that killing him will mean the end of Christmas, but since Scrooge now believes, this gives Santa enough magic to go up a nearby chimney pulling Scrooge with him and causing his body to get crushed on the way up, shooting chunks of Scrooge out the top. Just as Santa feels victorious, Thorpe shoots him four times and prepares to execute him until Gertrude, who grabbed a nearby gun, puts one in Thorpe's head. 
The other Lightstones arrive and try to help Santa. Jason burns some of the money to keep him warm, despite Alva's protests. It appears as though Santa is dying until Trudy tells him she still believes in him and always will. Linda then informs Jason that she has faith in Santa because he rescued their family. Bert, Gertrude, and Alva join in grudgingly, allowing Santa to be reborn. Santa expresses his gratitude to the Lightstones, who reciprocate, and discovers the reindeer returning with his sleigh, replete with the original Skullcrusher and a note from Mrs. Claus. Santa waves goodbye to the Lightstones before departing into the night to finish his Christmas duties. During the credits, Bert makes a TikTok video over the body of a dead Merc to persuade his followers that Santa Claus is real. That's all the recap, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed don't forget to give a like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Your support would be appreciated. I hope to see you next time.